Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. And what we're doing today is finding queenless colonies and installing our mated queens in those. And this is one right here. Um, I just had put this in a few minutes ago. You can see they're all over the cage. I actually had it between the cage. I wanted to bring it up and do a video and show you how they act when it looks good for the queen that they're going to accept her. Uh, if they're aggressively trying to kill her, you can't hardly pull them off this wire. See how they're easy to come off. And another thing too, you can see it's like they're feeding the queen through the cage and also you can see some of them fanning those are all good signs that they're going to accept the queen now I'll see if I can find one here uh, it's not sure yet I'm still watching here to see what I just want to show you the signs now it, uh, if they want to kill her you'll see them curled up like in a the the workers will be like in a stinging position and they'll be with their stinger towards the wire here, trying to sting through the wire. And also, they're very hard to get off. You can't really move them when they're like that. But see, I can scrape those. See how easy those are to scrape off? See, they just come off with my finger really well. See that? That's one good sign right there. So what I'm gonna do to show in the video, I'm going to direct release her. And she should walk right in and be no problem. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on pause so I can pull the cork out. And then we'll resume and then we'll watch her as she walks down in the frame and see how they accept her. Okay, open the cork and hopefully she'll won't take much time and she'll walk out that back side. Let's study here and watch her and see, how, see what she does. Hopefully she'll come right out and she'll walk. She's marked. She's got a yellow dot on her. Um, I'm looking, trying to find some aggressive bees on the cage. I'm not, I'm not seeing any. That's one way you can always tell a good sure way. It's not guaranteed, but it's a, it's a pretty good way of knowing. This is good to know for the, the new beekeepers. Uh, you don't really see a lot of videos where people talk about this a lot. They'll be stuck because they'll have their legs pulled down in to that wire trying to sting. Okay, I just seen the yellow dot in the cage, so she's still in there. Let's just see here, hopefully she won't take too long I might have to put it on pause because this may draw out the video too long and when she starts coming out I'll resume okay I tried to catch her there she darted out real quick and went down in the hive so I can remove the cage now and usually what they'll do when they first meet up with the colony they'll submit they'll usually hunker down and the bees will study all around her and we'll give them just a second. And then we'll pull that frame out and study. She walked right down through here, so I know she's right there. And we'll see how how they're doing. Or how she's doing. Okay, I'm gonna try to ease it back here and pull it up.
see actually there was a there's queen cells in here and I knew there was so right here she is And see how she's sitting real still. Hold on just a minute, my camera's trying to go out of focus. Somehow that it gets moved off of autofocus. Okay, we're good now. See her right there. See how she's sitting still? She's sitting still, they're studying her. This, this was a direct release, she hadn't been in there maybe 15, 20 minutes maybe in the cage. She's just walking around real slow. We actually marked her yesterday. We pulled him out of the the mate nukes and marked them and put them in the cage. Okay. So far, I don't see any aggression. Now, keep in mind too, these actually had even queen cells in them. So, I'll have to come back in a day and I'll cut these out. Uh, but the, the thing is, our, our queen mating time is, is about running out just as you can see on this uh, frame right here, you don't see any drones, so it's it's getting harder. So what queens we have, we'll get a few more mated. We still have a bunch right now, but it's go it's go get it's go dwindle down to where the timing is going to be harder and hard, harder to get them as the year goes on. See how they're studying her, how they're smelling her. She's got very strong pheromones you can tell the way this acting through the cage so far so good you can see where we mismarked her a little bit and got it on her abdomen sometimes that happens okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set her back in there and then I'm gonna give her about five minutes and then then I'll check again to see how they're doing Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's see if we can pull it out and see how how they're doing with her. Hopefully she's in this same spot. It'd be easy to find her, I hope. And again, she may not be. Should be easy to spot. She's got a big yellow dot on her. I don't see her. She may have walked over to the. Let's see if I can just spot her looking her down, looking down in the, the box. Probably still going through the submissive act and probably hit up under a wall of bees I can't spot. I don't. Sometimes you can, uh, a little trick, uh, sometimes you can touch your bees. They'll move out of the way. Sometimes you can just barely blow on them a little bit. They'll move out of the way the same. Okay, let me look on this other frame. Let me change hands here. She should be right here on this frame. The water bees was right there in the middle, so she's probably crossed over.
Will she sure take off? There she is. She's on this side of the frame. She's she's already mobile now, so she's moving faster than I thought she would by this point. So let me kind of turn my spin my hand around here. We're gonna get this frame. Now here's a here's a little sign right here. See see the bee right there fanning. There's more of them fanning. Okay. Now people wonder if you sit and wonder well. Just because a few bees accept her, how come all of them accept her? Well, bees put out signals to each other. She's right there. And they'll fan those pheromones around. And not every single bee in the colony has to accept her. The other, the other workers will, will let them know that it's okay and that they got a queen now and that she's accepted they they have unique ways of communicating with each other uh, a lot of time it's by fanning they uh will communicate with each other and who knows what other ways that we don't understand as humans now she uh she's still going through the Submissive, submissive phase just a little bit, but you'll see bees crawling all over, and it's not a sign of aggression. Look at them crawling all over my hand. Let me try to flip a frame back around. She went in. She went through a hole to the other <laughs> side. There she is, right there. And she looks to be in pretty good shape and acceptance. Now it can be harder for them to accept the queen when you got queen cells. Because to them, they're thinking that is their queen. So it's got to be a pretty good queen. Or so, sometimes the mated queen will just trump over the queen cells because they know. They know that pheromone, they know what's their best chance of survival. She's looking good. She's crawling around slowly. There she's going back through that hole again. She found her a little place to where she can go in and out that hole. And that's about it. I won't draw this video out too long, but that's the way that you can tell new beekeepers. Study your bees. This is how you learn. You get out and you, you, you watch your bees, watch how they react, watch how they work. I found situations, you know, where they, uh, swarms, and I've talked about this before, where you'll have, I believe what happens is swarms merge together, and that's how you get more than one queen. And I've seen the swarms merge together. I've seen it myself. Okay, I see the bee right there. Fanning. And when they get more than one queen in a swarm, if you're quick enough, you can pick those queens out when you shake them. Shake them onto a sheet and pick them out one by one. But if not, I believe, this is what I found out from what I've studied, is once that queen, the one they accept, or the one, maybe it's the first one that gets in the box, they will start a fanning just like this. And when they start that, they'll start balling those other queens up. And that's the easy way I find them because you'll you'll look around and find like little golf ball size bundles of bees and you'll pick that little bundle up and it'll be a tight, tight ball. And they'll be balling that, they'll be trying to kill her. Well, you can, if you hurry, you can separate them, put her in a cage. But if not, they will kill her, they'll end up with one queen. That's why a lot of people think there's one queen in a swarm because in the end, that's all there is, in the end, when they take up residency in, inside uh, their, their home, wherever their home is, a tree, uh, another box, whatever. But see, these bees right now are signaling. They're fanning, they're content, their demeter is completely different than it was before I put her in there. 
when you have a hive that's queenless, not so much this one because it had queen cells, but when you come across a queenless hive, and that's why I'm saying get out and study your bees because you'll learn things about them this way. Um, a queenless hive that has no queen, no queen cell, they're real flighty, they're real disoriented, uh, like they have no purpose. They're just kind of hanging around. And once they get a queen, you can open a box up and pretty well tell pretty quick just by the way they're acting if they have a queen or not. Just from studying. But uh, I wanted to show that. that. That was, I thought that would make a very interesting video, how you can tell if your queen's gonna be accepted. And please check us out on uh, Facebook. We have a group page, Barnyard Bees Inc. Incorporated. Check out our, uh, our all our videos on our YouTube. We have a lot of videos out, a lot of them pointing towards uh, helping out the new beekeeper. Check out our website at barnyardbees.com. Right now, we still have a lot of queens. If anyone interested, call us. I'll leave the number below. Heather, our store manager, call her, and she will get them mailed out to you the very next day. We'll, we'll mail them anywhere in the country. Just give us a call and we'll get your queen out to you. I hope this helped the new beekeeper out a little bit that you see how they, how you can tell now how they accept the queen and how they act when they accept the queen. So that's it for today. And I thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Barnyard Bees.